Ahoy everyone, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Turkir at your service. And well, welcome to our 102nd Showcase Sunday stream, where we will try some games for about half an hour each to see if they're good for streaming now, no, not now, or later, sometime in full. Uh, can be more, can be less, if a game is just not fun or boring or whatever, we can cut it short. And I see we have a new follower down there. Let's see, hide live your stream. <laughs> okay, that is <laughs> certainly a name. <laughs> Uh, anyways, thank you for the follow, and I see someone, or, uh, okay, I see someone was lurking in chat, uh, Mar I see a, a join and a part on Marco, I'm guessing they lost the connection or something, but yeah. And yeah, the first game that we have on the list here is Outcast Second Contact, which is a, <clears throat> I forget what it officially counts as, if a remake or a remaster of a, you of the game called out of a, a game called Outcast that came out somewhere in the zeros, I believe. I actually played the original, never got any far in it because I was like freaking ten or something. So I'm definitely curious how this will go then. So let's start I a new never game. Heard of it. Yep. Okay, a new game and the game crashes. Okay. Hey, uh, did you play test them? I did. What? When I test the games, I test if OBS will play nice with them. That is as far as I typically will go with it. So, oh. I think I know what might have actually gone wrong. Uh, let me double check something here on the Steam library. Okay, properties. Okay, I see now what, what I did wrong. Uh, I did a dumb and deactivated all of the uh, external drives but this game is installed on one of those external drives, so of course it would crash and not have any music running. So that was my fault. So, yeah. <laughs> Only need to have that those off when we're doing something with, that is on my main drive. I should keep a better note of that. Anyways then, let's start that new game actually. It came the discovery of the superstring theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. Aren't will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitous strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. Many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Anthony Zoo's trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zoo was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Okay. I'm definitely going for which style for this, because I'm pretty sure some of this was in the original in a, well, 90s zero CDI. You're in my light, pal. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. I got time to finish my drink? Guess not. Another reference. to the site and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. 
get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday, at 1630 GST, a top-secret military experiment was launched. You got any coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up, Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it, sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Well, mm -mm. let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft gear maintenance op needed at Hall G-13. Red sector com briefing is a go at 1300 hours. Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Lab techs, uh, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you and me both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders, P1 So, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. I get... I get the feeling that this dialogue Why is still from the original. Over? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. <laughs> One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, and we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm-hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suits a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, She'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slade, T minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. 
What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck. <laughs> Gesund heights. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Okay, that was almost already like 10 minutes. Nine to be exact. <laughs> and usually long as a... Son Nikar, son We've seen longer, though. You guys want to keep it down? <clears throat> My head is splitting. Urakai, are you unhurt? I think so, Doc, except my hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Urukai. Urukai? What's that? Some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Sakri, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulokai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five mons and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kloax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, 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 slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Kazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai. Who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zokrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me, then I to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai, as were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope 
that some moon they would help. Most Italian will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe. My equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads. And I have one backpack with my HK P-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulokai. But if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save Atalan's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Yan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Daoka, so you may leave. Okay, well, that all basically confirmed to me that this is a remaster and not a remake, because I'm pretty sure some bits of those were still original animation and such, like when his arm clipped through this bit here, and he was basically just sliding along the ground. <laughs> yeah, but still, they is that they looks good uh, if they be able to salvage what they could and update it with new models and all that. Yeah, there's also the fact that he just snapped his arm in half almost as he put the gams half away. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that is going to be his uh, yeah the save system or something. Like I, there's a lot about this game that I don't remember. Okay, we we can't accidentally shoot. We need to aim and then shoot. Now, what I remember of this game is that this is a tutorial area where we can talk to a bunch of people to learn some things and, and stuff. But, yeah, th knowing that this is a remaster instead of a remake is going to make uh, some things a bit awkward, like with the sliding along the ground and, well, the audio actually being still pretty good if this is the original audio being reused. It, it could be that they took the original audio and... Uh... Improved it? improved it like they gave it a little modern polish that they, they made the sound better in quality yeah and also and really i can do that yeah. i also like how they this how did my yeah i also like the the script not the script the explanation of why you can find just random military junk all over the place people have basically stolen it from you and <laughs> have been, are using it as prayer items or just hoping it will help them somehow Are you, Jan? Yes, Ulukai. I'm glad that you are feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some <laughs> exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Notepad. Okay, I do have to say I'm a, a little bit weirded out with the way they look because they, I, from my memory, they have tried to make them look a lot more human. They look uh, quite a bit more alien from my memory originally. What about this targeting yeah, test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new guardians. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Kazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. I, I said, his father looked more alien-like, but his son here is the one I feel like looked almost a little bit weirdly human. Yeah, they, they look like a sort of elven, almost. Or okay. fey? Trollish? What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Try and break them all. Notepad accessed. Okay, we can exit from there. Okay, uh, th there's something I'll be criticizing them for here. You shoot well! You shoot well! 
And that's the robot voice. Yeah, that is still very old. <laughs> uh, not only that, I think they needed to give it the support. For it. it sounds like she's saying new pad. <laughs> Let's try this I gotta jumping say, I guess he says note. Follow oh. me, Ulukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. Yeah, this is very much still old audio being reused. Okay, we can sprint a little bit. Red crystal. Okay, I remember you, that you could find crystals lying all over the place, but I forgot what you can do with them. Yeah. Hmm. I think that the other main game, main games, they, did, they have been able to do like this. And do extremely well. There are some games that are so old and not so well made that it, they need to then completely remake the game from scratch. Yeah. And then they use the other one as a look and see what they can copy and improve from there. What now? Or just across from the water, scratch. you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Okay, simple enough. Okay. There I could hear her say notepad for once. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they kept the sound low to not interfere with other stuff. Okay, jump with space. There we go. It's a bit floaty. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people, turn on your receivers. Be careful coming down, Urukai. Okay, it was a bit slippery. Okay, swim test. Tell me about your test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim down into the waters around Adelpha. This is useful for us when we hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me. And I will explain our test. Okay. Also a thing to explain why you can just find random things at the bottom of uh, pools and such. Yeah, I kind of like that they give those little notes in the text so you're not completely confused. Yeah, that's, that's because I've turned something on in the options, right? I think it starts on... Okay. I'll send you some stuff to, for comparison to the original after we're done with this. Act. Yo, Shorty. Uh, you want me to swim shorty. in there? I'll freeze my headset off. This water is very cold, but it holds items that you may find useful. Swim to the bottom to find the best ones, but be sure to protect your essence. Notepad accessed. Okay. We have our oxygen meter. Let's see, how do we... Uh, very obviously being shown if we need to press the right mouse to get down. Foreign metal. Okay. Luckily, we're not taking cold damage or anything. But yeah, even in this, you can see kind of the janky remains of the original. Which I think actually adds a bit to the game. <laughs> Yeah, but it does mean they were able to salvage most of it. Yeah. And they, still upgraded, which is rare. They still put it on a new engine and all, otherwise all of these graphics would not be possible. So yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen worse remakes or remasters like MDK2 HD. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now I'm second kiss myself. I don't know how common it is just to be able to copy over to a new engine and work from there. Yeah, some stuff probably will work, but a lot of stuff is going to need to be reworked since different engines do things differently. What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no violence teachings of Kazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Urukai, me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Uh, let's see. Hello there, Cookie Oklate 21 Let's see. I'm playing Saints Row 2022 one. 
And then I get Mark 1 uh, or MK1, Mark Mortal Kombat 1 <laughs> on Thursday. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're having fun with that. Uh, though Volition. Hello! <laughs> yeah. Volition got. Uh, yeah, the, the developers of Saints Row got, well, cans, but not because of their game specifically, but because their boss, uh, I forgot, Embracer Group was it? They basically were fucking around with things. Okay. And yeah, welcome to the... <laughs> Come here a second, would you? How does this work? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Okay, there we go. But I'm gonna set up an embracer group for... When I first heard about them, and I heard a uh, Tony on stream with you, I think, about uh, they're gonna remake uh, Legacy of Kay and a lot of those. One, two, but it seems like. Three. But this, after such a short time, they already falling apart. After yeah. so many promises. Uh, if not. I yep. have seen you, Ulukai. Come, speak okay, with I've, me. I've... I have no idea what button that was supposed to be, so let me take a quick look at that. Uh, oh, it's C. That's going. Let me change that to control because it's just so much more easier. Anyways, how are you otherwise, Cookie? Want to try that? I guess you are still weak from your travels. Let us try it again. As soon as I say three, you will need to get the fruit. Okay. We just reset to here. One, I remember two, this being somewhat three. annoying back when I played the original. Okay. That's the timer going off, but let's at least finish this bit off before we move on. Uh, let's see, Cookie, I can't wait, I got <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11 and just let AI play. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm no good at fighting games at all, so I would only be able to play by letting all well, the computers play right, against each other if I were to get those games. Drink. You did it! I could not see you! Jan's stealth test. Complete the stealth tutorial in Vanzar with Jan. Okay. So, did I pass? Yes, Ulukai. I have no doubt that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. <laughs> I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the guardians and the honor their name once held never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does don't worry jan i've never failed in a mission yet may the odds be silent during your travels ulukai my father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin thanks oh yes i almost forgot you will need this hey that's an evd where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around Adelpha now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the Yards. Yep, and... Okay, come, ready to leave Ronsar. Okay. But yeah, this, it, <laughs> this is very clearly still a bit janky, but overall it still it looks a lot better. Okay. For now, though... Let's quit. I said it's <laughs> only very curious enough to what to say to add it to the list. Okay. Well, 
Uh, this next game, I'm a little bit unsure about how it's going to work because it uses the desktop, so I've already hidden anything of uh, <clears throat> anything of uh, sensitivity. But I don't know how it's going to react with OBS and Discord. So can, can you see anything? The has paused. Okay. Oh, now I can see something. Uh, okay, so I need to keep I, that up. Welcome. Uh, yeah, did, did, okay, apparently it does keep in mind that you did a bit. Uh, but for this to actually, well, make more sense, I'll need to turn this on. Uh, oh, wait, that, okay, that covered way too much. Give me a second to fix that. Uh, uh... Copy, transform. Okay, I, I must have done something wrong with this uh let's see page right. transform there we go that's better just need to move it down okay now there we go can... yes yeah and yes this is how my desktop generally looks during streaming do i've hidden a few things over here and there okay but yeah this is outcore desktop adventures and I have absolutely no idea what anything with this game is supposed to be. So uh, let's just start the timer and see where this goes. Let's see. Whenever you want to continue, just click on me. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, can you please disappear? <laughs> That's... Uh, yeah. They popped up on the screen with this and they said they are looking for files. So, well, let's hope they stay out of my files. Okay. I want to thank you for helping me. That thing you gave me, I think it was a part of myself. Up until you gave it to me, I didn't even remember my own name. And to be honest, I'm still not sure how I got here or what just happened before I got here. But there is one thing I can tell for sure. This file thing is not the only one around. There are many more files like this scattered around your world. If the first one restored some of my memories, then perhaps the others will restore the rest? I don't know this place. It's not something uh, I can do alone. Will you please help me find my other files? Yes, sure. Really? Yay! <laughs> little sparkle in the eyes. Thank you so much. It's a big relief knowing that I'm not alone in this situation. Let's go. The next file's location is... Um, I don't know. <laughs> What's with that face? <laughs> I'm not sure about the exact location, but I can sense its presence in a place oh, called no. My Computer or Quick Access. Can you get us there? Okay. Yeah, I, I have a lot of red flags from this. This, this feels like a game you should not be streaming. Yeah, because it'll be going into my personal files, so... Yeah, sadly, that'll we'll have to cut it off here then, which can be done by just going into... Well, that, just force closing it. Oh, well. Yeah, it, I think similar games like this before, you just play, and they never like it. But the game decides to use the real name or something like that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll reset the timer. And that is why I have extras installed. I might check that out a bit more on my own time. And I can bring back up some things that... I hit like this, yes, Steam friends, so I can not forget to turn off the do not disturb thing. Audio, so I can for not forget to turn that back on. And the chatty program, so I can oh, actually oh. keep an eye on things. And yeah, I think. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, th this is a bit relevant again now that. Uh, <clears throat> now that Bethesda has released a new game again. But yeah, do, do I even need to say anything? It's the Outer Worlds, not the other Outer Wilds, which released at about the same time and was a completely different game, but people got the two confused because they were both the Outer W games. Okay. And let's go with story difficulty, conversation subtitles, show cinematic subtitles, yes. It's always nice that they do stuff like this beforehand. And this was not made by Bethesda, but by a different company who made of... Uh, who was it again? I forget. 
Was it Obsidian? Bethesda? Yeah, I think it was Obsidian who made this. Okay. Yeah, the original maker of uh, Fallout. Volume Skate and Fallout. When prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, Cookie, I, I play mostly for fun. Let's see... Phineas Vernon Wells, Fugitive... Okay. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, and well, <laughs> since it is an Obsidian game and partially an RPG, we get to, well, distribute some points into attributes. And let's see, you're, okay, Cookie O'Clake, you, are you seeing the game or the, yeah, the desktop still? Because that shouldn't be the case anymore. Uh, I see yeah. the game. Okay, so the stream should see that as well, unless there's something wrong. Okay, we've got three categories, body, mind, and personality. We have charm, effects, action, reputation, companion ability, cooldowns, temperaments, natural, natural health regeneration. It also affects two-handed melee, lie, sneak, medical, okay. Okay, multiple things affect the same skills. So we have one-handed and two-handed melee here. Dexterity, one-handed. Handguns, dodge, block, sneak, and lockpick. Let's go with good dexterity, uh, good charm. Actually, let's just put two points in both all of those. Or not there. No, no, we can... Don't wrote that. I'm not okay. paranoid. Did you actually punch out your anger, counselor? Okay, we can also lower At these. Least you don't have rickets yet. Uh, shut up, you. <laughs> okay. Let's okay, go uh, to the okay, next one. And you, do you see a stick up to the screen, or do you see the game now? Mm. Order. I hear oh, okay. In need of more game hunters. Okay, we can put skills into categories of skills, not into specific skills themselves. Uh, let's see. Let's put one, the I other one in dialogue. That silver tongue to frostbite. Okay, oh, hello. Uh, the persuade skill is used in conversations and also have a, a chance to inflict cower, crippling fear, when you first damage a human target. Okay. Those effects come at every 20 points. Okay. Uh, let's see. Aptitudes. Uh, no discernible aptitude. Colonist sounds like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach may s by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Plus one determination. Not sure what that is. Beverage service technician. <laughs> okay, so basically a bartender. Uh, bureaucrat, cashier, construction, electrician, wire spooler. Okay. Minus 3% electric damage, plus 1 engineering, plus 1 dodge. Uh, let's see. Safety inspector. <laughs> okay. Sub-sous-chef. 
Okay, let's go with that. I hope you know how to cook with mostly inorganic material. <laughs> okay, yeah, the one thing with this game is that it it puts the it puts the uh, parody and satire so thick on it. You'd think it was a a, a pig <laughs> that had rolled around in in mud for ten hours straight and you had it caked on. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just I hit think I recall <laughs> trying to watch someone play this and I just stopped watching because I I actually don't feel uncomfortable. Uh, customize your character, don't be shy. I, okay. <laughs> let's go with this just before it comes to a steer. <laughs> just <laughs> hilarity of that look. Okay. Uh, Space oh, Destroyers is dying to meet you. Okay, next. Okay, so and then we have summary. So oh, wait, did. Did it still go with a female body and that face? Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. You made a be a mustached lady. <laughs> Apparently. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. This sounds familiar. Give me weird vibe from the professor from uh, Back to the Future vibes. Okay. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. Oh dear. Oh, uh, that. Uh, Some rays uh, are automatically urged to punch that guy in the picture. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all colonists are counting on you. Okay, he was a lot less animated in that bit. And, well, I've seen a decent bit of this game before. Never too far. I I've seen Beanie stream this game. It Okay, apparently the cursor was still visible right there, but... But yeah, the one... One thing with this game is that its humor... 
It's good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Yeah, the humor of this game is a bit hit and miss with how thick layers on everything. I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. But yeah, this is basically, you know, this game was basically to be the new Fallout. And it is drawing quite a bit from my computer from the looks of it. Or at least oh, from the looks yeah. of my avatar. I think so I recall the... people were com it was very hit and miss for people, but the people did I think people did say it was rather yep. consuming in what it requires to be playable. And stretch it up a bit so I can see all of the active cores. Actually it I wonder, can we double check to make sure we are streaming this and not the uh, desktop? Uh, I can open up Twitch on my phone as a double check. Yeah, might as well so for turn they off the audio. Yet, and they, uh, yeah, it looks I like am they left. annoyed. It oh. looks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we are streaming normally. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, uh, let me just go into the graphics for a bit. Limit that to 60 about at the moment. Uh, no motion blur, thank you very much. And let's set all of this to high. Fly, yes. It's... Okay, that runs a lot better. Down from 99% to 90, uh, 59. Hello there, little Let's thing. See. Something I don't get. I've seen people talk about how to get as much FPS as possible on games like Valorant and such. And you're sitting there and wonder why. You only need like 60 and maybe 120 if you play a, a FPS professionally. But normally you don't, you only need 60 FPS. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay. Adreno. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up to it, them to initiate combat. Okay. Looks like uh, we had, might have attracted some attention. Oh. Okay. I, <laughs> they don't think the wildlife is going to. Let's see. The awareness meter over enemies' heads tells you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Always nice to have those. Just gotta... Okay. Ooh. Fills up as usual. I've heard people talk about that, uh, like, vision meters and such, or detection meters and such, are a bit overused in these days. But you... Side effects. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm okay with those vision uh, uh, thingies in games as long they're made well. Okay, Adreno is healing items or health kits. Okay. Hello there. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just How are you holding it? With my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Oh, oh, I think I know what happened. I think I've heard something like that happened before. I, I'm guessing you're thinking of that he drew it and whilst it was still pointed towards him, he mis misfired and basically no, shot no. through the side. Worse. 
Like, I can't say the rifle, but I think I've heard stories but when someone was finding a new stylish weapon in the West or something, was basically fresh out the factory and untested, and they fired, the other ammo in it fired as well, but wrong way into the body. Okay, that is definitely a design flaw. <laughs> Big yeah, ass design so flaw. Th this is why I reacted for what I'm hearing is it might not be that he held it wrong. It might be worse. Says yeah. here's the thing, people. This takes place in a world where capitalism has gone wild. Yeah, this so Quality's I... control is uh, basically non existent. Yeah, probably also why I stopped watching it for the fact around a bit uncomfortable for the almost ending there now in a way yeah just with the with, with some companies are trying to bring back company towns big and maybe some people think okay that would be a good thing to have a little town that is just uh specialized in producing one thing or such but what you're missing with that is that the workers in those uh typically well, always got paid in company credits that were useless anywhere else and they of oh. course people had to pay for rents for foods and all of that so stuff with those company credits so basically they were a quote unquote paid labor for uh, slave force uh, uh. Uh. Okay, let me move the game up a bit so i can keep track of the frame rates Okay. I can understand when you do that, like in the, the, uh, Alcatraz, where you had the uh, main of the guards and prison guards and all that uh, living on the same island with the families for closer to work. Hmm. I'm not they, actually they, sure they if that was the case credits. with that. They, they, uh, I learned that from uh, Miss Buzz, and they thought that many families lived on the island with the guards, with the families. But okay. they, they, they got probably regular pay with regular money. Yeah, because it was a government facility and not a, a corporate facility. Indeed. Investigating but, an illegally ugh. grounded ship, all spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? And what if there's multiple ways of them? Or oh, the gun misfires again? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Yeah, and one thing that is also in this game is that besides just the blatant the slave capitalism, to put it simply, basically every per to my limited knowledge, basically every person in this game has basically been indoctrinated into a corporate cult of any of some sorts, with well the corporations being the cult leaders and such. Yeah, another reason why that fell out for it was way on too uncomfortable for me and some of the humor Not just hope? quickly ran dry new drug? Yeah. are you with anti cleo or something don't take this the wrong way or nothing but i'm not allowed to fraternize with cleo workers company policy you see what i mean or something you're in emerald vale we're a spacer's choice community edgewater's a little ways down uh, prettiest place in the vale be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> in a bit, in a closer circle with uh, me and some other friends, uh, there is so, there is another streamer that I've mentioned, Beanie, who also streamed this game. And, well, when he got at this exact point, I don't remember the exact things what was going on. There was something going on in his desk or something. So he started to move things around. And as he that, did that, he accidentally nudged his mouse onto this guy's head and then, well, pressed an alternate fire button. And, well, his reaction to that was quite a thing. 
So yeah, let's not shoot this guy in the head. He's helpful if a numb nuts. Yeah. It... Oh, hello, little yes. Hey, yes. How are you doing? Well, I hope. Damage my ears. Oh. <laughs> oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. I. I recognize the voice. But the... is is that actor? That he's very old. Oh, he's probably dead by now, he's remembered. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Press the tactical dilation time. Uh, time the yeah, tactical time dilation. The TTD button uh, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. So basically, this is uh, their. <laughs> This is totally not the VATS system from uh, the Fallout games. You have limited time in this mode, sending still drains uh, your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacking drains it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay. Yep. Oh, we get experience with killing those little things. Oh. Okay, some abs ex explode when hits. Oop, oop. Double click to. Okay. Bit of air dodging. Bit cartridge and sentry saber. You've unlocked leap. Double click jump. Okay. Let's see what. Uh, yes, it's saying. I'm doing okay. I have rain finally and I'm bringing the rain to stay. <laughs> Laughing fate. Off a lot of sacrifices. <laughs> Or uh, prayers. Let's see. Mock apple, mag pick. Okay, so we spend those to open things up. Telescoping staff. Okay, sort of like uh, the system in Deus Ex Invisible War. Found a new weapon. Okay, Mock. we click that. Then we can. It's inventory. Yeah, take care of your TNL weapons. Let's see. We have. Sentry sabers, same thing. Telescoping staff does the same damage, but it's two-handed. Slower to attack as well. Okay. And here we have our ammunition. Light ammo, heavy ammo, and energy ammo. Okay. Now, what do you have for me? Some light ammo. Okay. Let's see. One, two. Just two. Okay. I can get a bit closer, but without knocking around my mouse, hopefully. No need to do a square dance. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I hit him in the torso there, so why the fuck did his limbs explode? <laughs> okay. What the heck? I'm guessing that's them bringing over that uh, one perk from Fallout that would randomly cause your enemies to just explode into chunks upon death. I forget the name of it. <laughs> okay. What is it? Is a bug? I think I heard people say yeah, that the cave system is buggy. I guess it still is. Here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that run. Worse. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? <laughs> You still have more, and I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Yeah, not you always. Watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm guessing these the numbers here is the re the minimum requirement in the skill to get past these. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. Here we go. Okay, timer went off, but let's finish this bit off still. Okay. Anything else? Not seeing anything on the compass. And okay, they've gone. Oop. Canid meat and tail. <laughs> this is no time to dance, Kimball. Oh, I should probably say this. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the buggy in this. The reason the technology looks a bit curious is they had the technological boost in this universe already in the 1800s. Okay, so similar to uh, Fallout, just not advancing from the 50s at all. Or yeah, in this case, they, yeah, they had a, again, they had a technological boost. This means they have discovered a few things early on, but uh, alternative method to do them and all that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, personally, I personally I definitely want to give this game somewhat more of a try. But what would you think about streaming it? Too much? No. It would be a bit too much, and it would be probably the longest game we stream. Probably. Should definitely and, have a look at that, at least. And also, it is very buggy, probably thanks to Bethesda. Yeah, that's and, one of the uh, reasons that people are... You know, actually, I don't think it was released on the Bethesda. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure, man. But yeah, one of the reasons that uh, Starfield is having somewhat of a bad reputation is, well, because Bethesda has a bad reputation of releasing buggy games. So that yeah. is just... Uh, <laughs> that's just leaking over onto what I'm actually hearing is a pretty good game. Yeah, do I have heard that it is buggy as heck. <laughs> okay, and so nothing changed there. And more dramas over there with political reasons again. Okay, well, next game is Overcooked 2. Which, well, last time we had Moving Out 2, didn't we? But this is a bit different, though it's still very much a game that you are advised to play with your friends just for the utter freaking mayhem. Oh so yeah, just start I see some game just play this and, and no, start the time. Really? <laughs> the following is based on actual events, only the names, place and vegetables have been changed. <laughs> just after tea time. I've seen... Yep, at last! How long I've waited for this moment. The trials we've been through to, to win this noble prize. Look at it, Kevin. Look. The fabled Necro Nom Nom Gecon. <laughs> okay, I I've seen... Uh, I forget who I've saw seen... Play uh, oh no, it was the Runaway Guys. I have seen them play through Overcooked 1. And well, that game doesn't take itself as serious as this either. What? Bark. What do you mean it's dangerous? Don't be silly. This book holds the secret to everlasting culinary greatness. In a large bowl, dissolve the sugar in warm water, then stir in yeast. Allow it to proof until... Uh, allow it to prove until yeast resembles a rich, creamy foam. Mix in salt and oil, then mix in the flour. Uh, we accidentally skipped a page. Yeah, he did again. Yeah. Knead the dough, cover with a damp cloth. Is this supposed to be for some sort of caramel win? And allow it to rise. <laughs> uh, he just... <laughs> rise, rise. <laughs> huh? No, 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 this wasn't supposed to happen. It can't be, it's... You're, you're too short to watch out the window anyways. The unbred... Come on. 
But yeah, this is one of those games where the tongue is so far in the cheek it's practically poking through. As my best chefs, or conveniently the ones that happen to be here, see if you can fend them off. They seem so hungry, set to it. Thank you for the mental image, Cillian. I did not need that mental image. Okay, grab a lettuce. Take it to the chopping board. Swapping chefs. Left. Okay. Okay, so you can control two chefs at a time with this to at least speed things up somewhat. Okay. I did not know this. But yeah, I guess that is our one way to do it. Okay. Tomato. One then we jump to you. No, not you. Not, not that there. Okay. Uh, I, I cannot wonder how many are dying from the horrible puns. Okay. You, you, you know, get the work here, you. You take that. Okay. Then serve that. Oop. Uh, okay. Bear, bear. Okay, the, the challenge with these levels, with this, these games, is less about... Oh. Is that about... Yeah. It's less about just the recipes and such, it's more about just managing to traverse the entire damn place. Okay. And serve. Yeah. Oh, what was it damn easy? Just let us. Yeah. Okay, there. Uh, you get to work. The fact that you can control two chefs in this, I, I actually don't remember if you could control multiple during. I, I've never played Overcooked One myself, so I can't tell if you had if in single player you could play multiple chefs at once during that. No oh, yeah. idea. What? Yeah, these games are meant to be played with friends for just the utter mayhem, like I said. Yeah, like you can see I've their score cutting seen... boards. Yeah, I, can... I have only seen play... people play this multiplayer. Yeah. Like, uh, worst primate ever. Definitely seen them play it. <laughs> I've even seen some YouTubers play it. Also turn into chaos. Okay, there's a certain amount of time that you're allotted, you, ha you have to serve in those time as best you can, and while well, the amount of money you make is... Yeah, uh, serve the salad, so yeah. one wants to use a regular salad. And yeah, that went... Yep. Yeah, just, that's it. <laughs> okay. And sweat begins. Complete the tutorial level. The horde is too ravenous. You might want to get a bit more distance. No, don't be a hero, Kevin. Quick, back to the castle. Retreat. Okay, you need to make a certain amount of money uh, to pass through levels and such. Let's see. You may be by mess my best chefs, but you have much to learn if you're to conquer that appetite. Me and Kevin can keep those fiends from entering the castle, for now. But if the unbred spread out from the castle grounds, I fear for the Onion Kingdom. We must act quickly. Why, of course, the rebel stagecoach. She's just been upgraded. Stagecoach, stagecoach. It seems that once again it's up to you, uh, chefs, to save our kingdom. So take my wheels, hit the road, and learn some new recipes, and for the love of onions, learn to cooperate better. <laughs> uh, I think that is a reference to every YouTuber who played this. Yeah. Oh, I wonder how many YouTubers feel called out. Okay, play the levels in different game modes. The current game mode is displayed in the top uh, right corner. Yeah, the story mode. Okay. Here we go. We need to make 20 to pass this level. 240 for the maximum. Okay, new recipe, sashimi. Okay. Sashimi is... the. In theory, it's... Easy, it's just uh, raw fish sliced. 
But of course, there's, I got, yeah, there's a lot more to it to actually make it, well, good. Like, good preparation of the ingredients and such. Okay. You get to work there. You get to work there. Uh, the sound effect looks a little rather off. Yeah. Plates. Uh, let's see. Yep. Post wants this one. Okay. Or, oh, wait. What? Okay, that was. I sent in the wrong thing, I think. Okay, so both yeah, want for... this. The one oh, is well. fish and the other one is. Lobster tail? Yeah, it looks like. It, okay. I don't think fish sounds like that when you cut them. Yeah, at least it's not supposed to sound like that. Okay, you leave that one there. But yeah, this this game would be fun, but it would be a lot more fun to play it with friends. Okay. Uh, I, I I will not be able to play this myself with people, for I feel like I will panic. Yeah, that's also a th that's also a thing you have to sort of uh, not do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like. It Take with friends, you know you can have fun it, you know it may be chaos, but without the bad sort of panic. But people okay. just end up blanking out. Or stressing out. Yeah. Yep. You get the work. And yeah, and most of my concern is that I would probably get loud, and I don't want to disturb uh, people I live with or with my neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Since I live in an apartment, so... Uh, pick it up. Serve it. Probably could have done better by sending this guy, the left guy, to the front for... Uh, but I will. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be that. Okay, six, six hundred and sixty-eight. Okay, yeah. this is of course going to be a lot uh, more difficult later. Well done. Okay. Uh, shall we move on or do one more level in this? Let's, uh, let's move on. Yeah. I think many people have seen this game as well. A, a good game, but not really our style. Maybe as a multiplayer thing sometime with other people. But yeah. Let's leave it at that for this one. And then we can move on to the backup games. So start this one up. Okay. Oh, as a uh, reminder, we uh, probably have more Owl, uh, owl House. Oh boy, what the... Uh, oh. Uh, let me... <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, this is Overlord 2, which is currently in a forced windowed modes, which does not want to seem to move out of 4x3 resolution. Okay, let's see if uh, I can fix it. that. I have played both games. I have not finished either, though. So I couldn't stuck on both, but I love these games, but they are so hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's the same team who made Age of Wonders. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a bit of an issue with some games that they just... They only have this. Uh, uh, okay, I th I'm thinking then that the game was first released for consoles and then ported to PCs, with well, very clearly a lack of interest in actually adapting it well for the PC. But because it's like I said, it's being forced into windowed mode at the moment, but it won't be anything else than a small 4x3 window for me. 
But anyways. You hear that? Yeah, they were singing. <laughs> okay, that does mean that the game is is Once a bit stretched. Upon a time, there was an ending. And we minions searched high and low for a new overlord. We were like fleas without a dog, maggots without a carcass, pimples without a face. And on midwinter's eve, in the town of Nordberg, we found a beginning. My pa says that he was found outside Nordberg's gates. Wish they'd left him there. Don't come near me! Uh, made in the Netherlands, but I always got a lot of good British voice actors for this. Snowman, yeah! Master would know how to smash snow thingies! Oh, oh, oh! Hit them snowy men, Master! Okay, okay space bars to the <laughs> We'll get you for that! I hate that witch boy! You're complaining that they're retaliating after you've been pestering them for who knows how long? <laughs> but yeah, Overlord is... Show magic, master! Like, alt? Again, this just really shows that they did not give a fuck about actually porting this game correctly. Yeah, I know I played it both of these on PlayStation 3. I thought I believe it was on a PC, the first game, and it, it runs smoothly there. Oh, wait, are you using a controller? Nope. It didn't want to take the controller. That is... Oh... Yeah. I think it released just before controllers became popular again for PCs. Yep. As in, before the Xbox controller became a thing for PCs. But yeah, the Overlord games are basically... Oh, are basically... Uh, <laughs> where you play, well, an Overlord instead of a hero. So luckily, the quote-unquote heroes tend to be a bunch of bastards and assholes. So, in a way, you might actually be of lesser evil. That was the first game. <laughs> yeah, with this one, I have played this, but I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what exactly happens in this game. Uh, I only remember they, they are. It is a bit of a rough game, but it is very fun. You're so smart. Uh, uh, demons! Ah! He hit me! He hit me! <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that's also something with these games. Like, the, the minions will just pick up random junk to use as weapons and armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they we put on the best equipment they can find. And the best equipment at the moment is a freaking snowman head. Okay, let me change a little something so it won't look as... Uh, so it'll look a bit better. So, copy, transform. Uh, then mm. we need to find the correct source here. Uh, not oh, that one, not that one. I'm fully open for the streaming these games. Do I would say probably good to have some guide ready? For again, I got stuck myself on both games. So I'm going to finish them, but I better. did have some... Uh, what did I say? Uh, that looks somewhat better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, Overlooked... No, no, not Overlooked. Overlords 1 was definitely a raw game at certain points. But I do remember liking this game myself. Yeah. As I, again, I'm fully open for us to streaming both games. Yeah, we'll just have to. Stay out. Yeah. We'll just have to see about you, making it boy. more playable. I see you, demon child. Stop that floating about. You trying to make old Nev sick? You ain't getting in here. I have orders. No witch boys with your funny eyes. 
And no demons. Go wobble about someplace else. Push off and take your funny eyes with you. Yeah, as you can tell, these people are just. I'll show you the way. Just assholes. And then you meet someone that's nice. I know where they've gone. I think it has aged very well. Hey, appearance wise. One over here. <laughs> this is ours. <laughs> Okay, they throw Over snowballs here. at it to Maybe extinguish it. Nice. Okay, yeah, hold both mouse buttons and then we can control them directly. Or, well, more directly than normal. Okay. And we... Yeah, hold... So, uh, yeah, I'm holding. Come on. Come on, game. Like I said, rough, rather. Still, uh, come on. Okay, is the game just broken because it's forced into windowed modes? I'm sure for... I'm gonna play this on the PC. Uh, only the first one a little bit. Yeah, I'll need to look for uh, a fan-patched version, probably, if we are to stream this. Because this yeah, is not a good look for it at the moment. As it is, I hope there's a fan patch that allows you to use the Xbox controller. For one. Yep. And yeah, it looks like it's just not responding. So, okay, well, that, that's a short showcase. But yeah, I mean, this is a fun... a fun game. It just needs to be bludgeoned into, well, behaving. You know what it needs? Hmm? A remake? Yeah, remake or remaster. Yeah. Uh, a re-release with the uh, control support for the PC. Again, I think this these two released when the controllers for the PC was not popular at all. For, it has, they have tried to introduce controllers to PCs before with heavily mixed results. It didn't yeah. become popular until Xbox controller was adapted to a PA, but used to be PC. Yeah. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next game, we have Oxygen Not Included, which, well, uh, is a very, a very, very wacky game. Why did it almost sound like Elmer Fudd there? Very, very wacky. In name of all is that? Uh, so yeah, I'm guessing you mean moon? that? Yeah. Well, is that a literal sick? I guess. Uh, I, since I installed this game for the next Showcase Sunday, I've played it a few times, but basically this is uh, sort of like RimWorld, but 2D in a different way. So let's just start. Let's go with no sweat for the moment. That when disaster strikes, and it inevitably will, take a deep breath and stay calm. You have ample time to, take a, to find a solution. Normal survival is stay on your toes and one step ahead of this unforgiving world. One slip up could bring your colony crashing down. Yeah, it's a bit hard in that way. Let's just go with the standard gameplay. Then we can choose from different... Well, I'd say worlds, but that's more like just playing rocks and yeah here we have world trades story stuff that we want ways that we can quote unquote finish the game uh, let's see frozen core this world has a chili core of solid ice the printing pod didn't enter in the asteroid exact center this time but it's still nowhere near the surface a subsurface ocean. Below the crust of this world is a saltwater sea, metal rich, geodormant, has fewer geysers and vents than normal. And the oil in this asteroid is anything but regular. Okay. Yeah, different worlds, different challenges, and yeah, different difficulties. Like probable, likely, likely, moderate, marginal, slim. <laughs> so let's just go on the normal rock. And start. Okay. He's realized 
Hmm? The Allstar kinda reminds of Outer World in a weird way. <laughs> okay, but this is not as uh, stupid with the corporatism, at least. Okay, you start with three duplicants for which you can select a role. From what I've read, it's been advised to have at least one digger and one resor uh, researcher. For your third one, you can have something else. I just go with a builder because, well, building. And then you can re-roll them. You, they will have their stats here, or their, their building stats here, plus nine construction. Like, they, you can see, plus 225% construction speed, so that's quite a bit. Uh, then their traits, gourmet, cuisine, plus one, food morale bonus, minus one, okay. Decreased food morality bonus. The, your duplicates will get morale from, uh, well, good food and such, but this one will have a bit less. Then we have a negative trait for each of them. Hmm? The gourmet one sounds like a split one that's both good and bad. Yeah, they get, they are a better cook, but they, they want better meals. But morale, at least at starts, are not too big of a deal. Now, let's see. Unpracticed artists, they have minus three creativity, but they get more of a decor bonus from... Well, they get a, a bigger morale bonus from decor. So, again, a bit of a double-edged thing. And then they have a stress reaction, because, well, they can get stressed, and then they will do, well, what their stress reaction is. This one is a binge eater. Uh, let's see. Will dangerously overeat when stressed. And food is going to be a big resource. So that could be a, no, a danger, but it's a lesser danger than some other things. What? The, um, okay, that is new. Hmm? Over your response, I've never seen that before. Let's see, the duplicant leaves a trail of happy sparkles when they are overjoyed. I don't know what overjoyed is myself, but I'm guessing it's when they have extremely high morale or something. And there's just a little quote about them. I think it's new for, I see how to play this and overjoy did not exist. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, th this game so has this been in new. development for quite some time. It went through by the, quite a few early access bits, I think. Yeah. Uh, Lairus just wants everyone to be happy. Next up, we have Stinky, who is plus one in digging, plus one in tidying, and plus three in husbandry, which is for critters, which doesn't make him that good of an excavator. So let's re-roll him a few times. Plus five and plus four. Poor cuisine would make him a pretty good doubler, but we prefer to have one more specialized, like this, plus nine. Okay, also increased construction. Okay, they could make a decent secondary builder then, but they are biohazardous. Let's see, decreased germ resistance. Duplicants with a higher germ resistance rating are less likely to contract germ-based uh, diseases, so they couldn't get, they get sick easier. They are also a binge eater, and they are a sticker bomber. This duplicant will spontaneously redecorate a room when they are overjoyed. Uh, Rowans has exceptionally large hearts uh, and express their emotions more effi you know, efficiently by yelling. And then we have Camille here, who is a decent, so let's re-roll that a bit. I've seen it go to plus 11, but plus 9 is the most common, I think. Okay, shriveled taste buds. <laughs> okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, they, they get more morale from food, even if it is terrible foods. But they are also a plant murderer, which makes them terrible, uh, terrible as a harvester. So, yeah, they are not a farmer. Oh, but they are a vomiter. So, yeah, if they get stressed, you're going to have something to clean up. And they're a balloon artist. There's... <laughs> This duplicant hands out balloons when they are overjoyed. Others always insult people by accident and generally exist in a perpetual state of deep regret. And then you can name your colony the Luckless Dystopias, which I think is rather fitting, since we're going to abandon them. And here we are. I've awoken at the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. And yeah, that is one of the ways that you can win the game by, well, escaping out of this rock. But before we can do that, of course, you are going to have to build up a colony that is able to self-sustain itself. 
Now, all of this is randomly generated. And I think you can get a look already at what is the well, main feature or main mechanic of this game. The oxygen yeah. depth does not come included. It, uh, it kind of feels like Croft the World. Okay. Just a bit sillier. First off, let's start digging around because we need materials to actually build stuff. And we start off with absolutely zero. So let's dig that out. And then dig out towards this way as well. We have algae here, which is nice. We can use that. These little guys here are shine bugs. They are, well, living torches. They are good for, well, lighting up your crops and such. They are not good if they get into the bedroom, though. This here is oxalite. This is constantly producing oxygen. Uh, until there is a maximum of the gas pressure in the area, at which point they stop. You will want to get access to this as soon as possible, because, well, oxygen is rather required. Yeah. So don't destroy them. Yeah. Okay, let's make a little ladder here so that they can get up. Turn that to auto harvest. Uh, that we can just uproot because it's just a simple plant. Harvest that. Food is going to be a high priority, so you'll want to harvest these things whenever possible. When you give orders, you can set priorities to them. With, well, nine being least urgent, nine, well, one being least urgent, nine being high urgent, and you can even turn on a, an alert to, that will stay on until something, it, the things are done. Okay, over here we have our construction stuff. We, we can have, we, we only have basic stuff at the moment, and they are done, so let's keep them digging up this way to collect a bunch of algae, a bunch of dirt, sand, and all sorts of things. And yeah, we'll want to avoid this here because, well, it's um, rather nasty looking, huh? Yeah. Okay. Also, for a bit of access, let's build a ladder here and dig out this area about. And then we can put on the here in the plumbing, we can put, put a pitcher pump here. This is how they will get water out of this without, well, getting themselves drowned. Okay, let's also put down a storage bin over there. And of course, these are, they're going to need to go somewhere. So, let's see. A lot of early stuff with this game is going to be rather rough. So let's make a little outhouse area here, make it a higher priority. Put that there, and then under medicine, we put a wash basin right next to it, because, well, outhouse, germs, we don't want them spreading that all over the place. Let's actually make that a higher priority than that, even. Okay, this little thing here is a thing called a hatch, which is a rather harmless animal. What these do, uh, let's see, does it say, yeah, yep. Hatches excrete, so excrete solid coal as waste and may be uncovered by digging up buried objects. Buried objects being these cracked bits here. And right. yeah, they will eat just about anything and shit out coal, which makes them a good fuel source if you can, well, herd them all together. I know okay. shitting breaks, but shitting coal? Okay. We can set a direction with these things, which means that if they pass it in a certain direction, or going in a certain direction, then they will have to wash their hands. And that is a good way of, well, keeping this place clean for the moment. Okay. Now, these... Certain things are going to require certain resources, like this needs water. And, well, that's why we're digging out this here, or they were digging out. Uh, all right. One thing that is going to be a lot of use early on and throughout the entirety of this game are the priorities tabs here, which is, well, you can set certain duplicates to prioritize certain things like building, digging, and researching. So that's these guys' top priority at the moment. Other things that, well, they'll pick those up when they don't even have any other jobs of that kind to go. This here is Neil Woods. 
We can auto harvest that. This is growing because it's in oxygen, which it can't breathe. It's being illuminated, so that's helping. Okay. And something we'll also want is to get some furniture and make these guys some beds because, well, they get grumpy if they're forced to sleep on the ground. Okay. You have these little messages up here about tips and such, basic controls, colony foods. Yeah, use the third. Okay, just the colony management. Okay. Duplicate movement. You can even get some of these which have little videos in these to show instead of tell. Yeah, they can't jump two wide gaps, but, but they can jump one wide gaps. They can't go up three blocks, but they can go up two. <laughs> they can't. They need. They need two blocks to be able to pass through. But if it's one block, then they can't crawl through. Okay. It reminds me of someone, for some reason, I'm sure who it reminds me of. Okay. Colony achievement earned. Yeah, you can hit certain milestones in your achieve in your colonies. You can even watch a, a time lapse of the entire damn thing. Okay. But yeah, we got bed and baths for having at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicant. So just one toilet and three beds okay now we need to get our hands on metal which is up here so let's start going upwards okay duplicants can dig up to four tiles high so let's not get into that because that's all carbon dioxide which well as it says unbreathable and we kind of want these little idiots to be able to breathe so we avoid that yeah try to remember what the heck you can do to get rid of it yeah there are multiple ways to get rid of oxygen like or carbon dioxide like that uh let's see there but the, you have to unlock those through research the first of which we open here at the research station but that requires power. So for that we go to the power part, where we select a manual generator. Let's put down two batteries, and then some wiring to connect all of these. There we go. Up here we can see how far in the cycle slash day it is. Invalid construction. Oh, right. Oh, what? Did they dig? Oh, right. When... <clears throat> when wires are being placed, they will break the blocks that are there. Unless it's a tile that you've, put, yeah, that you've put down yourself. So, for the sake of safety, let's put some tile down underneath that. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. And they should get to placing that as soon as, well, it comes up in their priority. Rowan is our digger, so he's going to keep digging. And Ado is the constructor. Oh. But of course, they have their own needs and such, such as food. Though we, we do start with a set amount of that, but you are expected to get your own food eventually. And yeah, <laughs> they need to use the crapper as well. And if I turn this on, the germ overlay... Yeah, they get themselves cleaned off. So they don't get food poisoning, or worse. Okay. And yeah, so your base... That, yeah, the goal is to basically keep expanding, keep solving problems that you run into. Definitely solve problems that you create yourself, because you're going to do that sooner or later. And, well, try not to die. Okay, now it's night. He, uh, Rowan's going for not a snack, apparently. Okay. It's 
Germs and disease. Yeah. Germs such as food poisoning and slime lung can cause disease in my duplicates. I can use the germ overlay to, fuel all ger to view all germ concentration in my colony and even detect the source of spawning them. Building wash basins from the medicine tab near colony toilets will tell my duplicates they need to wash up. Okay, one thing That's I've really read small. is to have each of to have these in pairs. So for every outhouse, you have a wash basin next to it. Because yeah, they're not going. Duplicants aren't the brightest bulbs. Like I'm, these are probably a thousand times brighter than them already. And yeah, if they've gone to the crapper, they'll just run past a waste a wash basin if it's being used, it's because they don't like waiting in line. Okay, we can speed things up a bit over here, orbit tab. Here we go. And yeah, just got to survive and keep going. We can set certain things to be collected. These meal woods are good for that, I believe. We also need to build an oxygen generator. So so we keep generating oxygen, of course, because they're, go they're breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide, which over time is going to build up. And yeah, the reason we need... A, uh, can we... Not... The reason we need those metals is because, well, certain objects need to be made from certain things, like, well, copper ore. So we just connect that to that. And now once these are done... Okay. Uh, um... Okay, are they still building things on the higher priority? Oh, yeah, they, okay, let's set that back to five. You'll want to manage your priorities well, otherwise you can end up, well, with duplicates that are not doing the things they actually need to do because everything is labeled as important. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Once this is done, then one of them should start researching. Uh, come on. Yeah, they're still building and still connecting the wires. Yeah, let's see you make it, it, another cable there as a dot in the hole over there. Mm. Yeah, I think he has built. Oh. Okay, we can at least deconstruct that then. Put a higher priority on that because it's useless. Okay. Now, there we go. Yeah, it's a hamster wheel, so power needs to be generated manually. You can set to how long, <clears throat> to which point they will stay into it to charge yeah. things. We call it power ring exercise here yeah. in Hillion Incorporate. And here we have the research, which, well, is a bit big. Now, a lot of these things are useful. So let's start with basic farming, so we can get these idiots to feed themselves. Oops, someone's being happy. Okay. Now, these doors here, pneumatic doors, there are different types, of course. This one encloses area without blocking liquid or gas flow. Wild critters cannot pass through doors. So these things are useful for boxing in the little buggers. Uh, where did the hatch go? They it seems to have run off somewhere. And there's also another thing that they are useful. Or that they are useful for. So if we do this and then this, basically create a sealed off area. Actually, let's not do that. There. Okay, there is one other thing that we're going to need for this. So let's speed things up. Because you can make rooms which have certain effects. Morale boost. Uh, the morale boost enables spice grinder use, massage stress relief bonus, quarantine sick duplicants, and like here, efficiency bonus. So if we have two science buildings, a light source, and no industrial machinery, so none of this in this room here, then it will, well, then research will go a lot faster. There was first right. research finished, so we now have access to the algae terrarium, which consumes algae to produce oxygen and remove some carbon dioxide. So that's one way to lessen the carbon dioxide 
we can get planter boxes now and the ration box and as well as compost reduces polluted dirt and other compostables down into dirt and well outhouses can create polluted dirt <laughs> between quotation marks okay this one here advanced research is important because you can see that some of these or a lot of them have all of them past a certain point have a second bar under them. That is advanced research. So let's click that. They will do this and then that. Okay. Yeah, just speed things up a bit. They will clean things a bit. Okay, but how are we looking on this? Okay. Looking good on the amount of oxygen and such. What have we... Okay, there's breathable gas there. But what is that? That is, okay, slime, clay, and a cool steam vent. Okay. Colony lacks field research skill. Okay. There are different biomes in this game. I don't know exactly how to tell when you're at the border of one or such. But, yeah, different biomes will have different things. And let's have a look here. Okay, that this would be a pretty safe area to dig into. But one issue that you would have to keep in mind is that all of the oxygen will try to get into every space that it can. So one thing we also want to get our hands on as quickly as possible. So if we look here is... Let's see, where is it? Gases. Yeah, this here, the manual airlock. Blocks uh, liquid and gas flow, maintaining pressure between areas. Yeah, because and also, it would be course, rather wasteful to try and make yeah it would be rather wasteful to try and fill this entire asteroid up with oxygen yeah for we also want is a little plant to help make oxygen and all that and algae. Yeah. okay uh when we put down tile over blocks they will first break the blocks that are there in the first place and then put them down. So if we do this, this will keep us able... Well, this will keep them able to keep going across. Actually, we could have little gaps. There, there, there. That little sound was them finishing the research. I don't know if there's a real way to keep queuing stuff unless it's in the same line. And that's a lot of copper over this way. So let's start digging here as well. Oh, vacuum. Okay, that is better than carbon dioxide, because that just means that the area will get filled in with oxygen. There. And we can set uh, their harvests. These two. Okay. Now, we have a lot of... We have new things available, marked by the accumulation points, the algae terrarium... And over here we have the planter boxes and the ration box. We'll, you'll want to set up a kitchen at some point. And food, we have the ration box. We start off with this micro musher. Which, well, stores a small amount of foods and can make foods. It also gives a little bit of decor. So let's actually put that... Actually, we should put that in a bit of an isolated area. Because we, wa we will want them to wash their hands before they go in there in case they... Well, pick up germs anywhere else. At the moment, everything is clean around here, except for, well, one specific thing. Though we should probably also expand this already a bit. Since, well, one toilet is not going to do it forever for all of these. And, well, we'll also want to put down the composters there. So, let's see. Crafting station, we won't have any use for that yet. Furniture, a water cooler. Let's just put that down here. Yeah. Provides a gathering space in place for duplicates during downtime. Improves morale. Yeah. Stress is measured up here. Or it, it, it's the highest stress is being kept track of over, uh, up here. Also, the amount of sick duplicates, how much calories and food you have available. And, yeah, the, the seed for this world. There's a lot you can look at here. They even have skill points now that they can earn with time. 
And yeah, the schedule is over here. We're currently in bedtime. So they will just go to bed after taking care of anything else. Let's see, refinement, compost. Okay. And that's the stream timer. Or the, the timer on this. Already? Uh, Wait, yeah. Wait, <laughs> the next game will be 10 minutes long. Uh, but we could end this. Yeah, we could end things quicker. So, compost, I, I compost. Don't mind. We did go overtime yesterday. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this things. This game is just all about balancing stuff. Like, all of this uh, carbon dioxide is going to build up over time. And hello, that's a lot of. Oh, st okay, it's a steam vent. Uh, not that cool after all, at least. Yeah, you can use make use of these things and other geysers and such. But you'll have to first find them. And hello there. Yeah. Yeah, there are f four ways that you can quote-unquote win. But I one of them is to build a rocket oh, and get out. But the other... The second one is to be able to make a stable colony with, I believe, 20 duplicants. And, well, you want to be careful with the amount of duplicants that you have. Because you need to feed all of them. And, well, they'll all be adding on to the carbon dioxide here. But yeah. Uh, one easy way to deal with carbon dioxide, at least at the start, is to just dig a pit. Because the different gases have different layers. And it, well, carbon dioxide will always sink to the bottom, while oxygen will always try to go to the top. There are other gases, like chlorine, that I get other places, like over here, hydrogen. Yeah, just managing with all of these different liquids and gases is going to be quite a balancing act. But yeah, for now, let's head off. And uh, actually, I don't think we're going to spend 10 minutes on this next game anyways, because... Let me just start it up. This isn't really a stream game I'm going to save right away. Yeah, this is Pac-Man Championship Edition DX+. Plus. <laughs> and, well... It's Pac-Man. What else there is there to say? It's just a hell of a lot of Pac-Man at that, though. Do I get the feeling I might have shown this game before? Not that I remember. Okay. Unless it was before I joined. Okay, either way, let's just start and, well, try not to get killed. Okay, I don't remember if there was a tutorial for this game or not. But yeah, as you can see, it plays a bit differently than the typical Pac-Man. We want to get as many points as we can. And once we have a good gathering of ghosts following us, well... Time to eat. There you go. Yes. Almost got caught there. Yep. There. Yeah, I think that really this was kind of perfect game to end off with. I don't really need to do a long showcase of this. Yeah. And snack time. Yeah, it's going to run out of time on its own, anyways. Yeah. And yeah, as you can tell, the game is speeding up as well. So things will get more and more difficult as you go. Luckily, we have multiple lives. But yeah, this can get quite hectic. 
This is a Hatma cartoon series. Yep. yep. It sort of becomes a bit like a game of snake. But your tail wants to eat you. Yep. Yep. Smart one. Okay, there's got to be a power pellet coming up somewhere. Let's get all of these annoyed. There. And there we go, okay. The bar underneath the timer, I believe, who is how long of uh, enough power up you still have. We have 40 speeds. Good. Good. Yeah. Pinky. Again, it's my closest thing to Lula about Pac-Man. It was Pinky called the network. Come here, you. Yeah. I recently realized something. Is I've been playing Swedish television on. Oh? No. Uh, Toonami, we show only on worldwide anime. Trouble is, when Toonami was introduced and shown in Sweden, yeah. He started around the same time with the new the, the yeah. TV companies switch over the channel to another of a certain hour. And they did that to Cooking Network around Tsunami. This meant whenever Tsunami was to start, the TV company who was hosting it switched over to a wrestling channel instead. <laughs> okay. That and is acceptable dead. nowadays, and you're done. But still, that means I missed a lot of anime as a kid before you knew what anime was. Yeah. Yeah. It was a kind of probably gave many sweet impression that Cartoon Network was only for kids. For well, I have learned many anime from the tsunami. Was aimed for all ages or more for the older, older ones. And there we go. But yeah, I I can't say I'm a a massive Pac-Man fan. I probably just got this on one of many sales. But from what I can see, it for Pac-Man fans, this is definitely a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I can see that. I agree with you. I never was a Pac-Man fan myself. There's a bunch of unlockables as well here, like freaking Matrix colors. Oh, I <laughs> you can even not have like this one. Different ones. <laughs> and we can even change the music. But yeah, a fun little. Maybe not time waster, but there's there's plenty of people who will gladly play this kind of a game just for hours on end for their own entertainment. And a bunch of stuff that's still locked. Hmm. But yeah, I think we can leave it at that then. <clears throat> okay, heading over here. And before we go look for someone to raid, let's have a little summary. Uh, Outcast second con... <clears throat> Also, actually, let me bring up how long to beat, so we can compare. Careful. How long Cast, to beat? I am leaning yes. Okay, outcast, second contact. Okay, it's not too well measured here, but they say about 16 hours or so, so I'm guessing 16 to 20 hours. Okay, a main quest game. Yeah. Uh, Outcore, uh, yeah, not not for streaming at least. I'll prob I'll play that some on uh, some on my own time. Uh, let's see. 
outer worlds. What is the time set for that? Oh, I, one T, not two. Huh. Main story, 13 hours about. Plus extra, 26. And completionist, 39. Okay. If we focus mostly on main story, we could get through that pretty uh, fast. But that would be a bit yeah. less of the fun with it. Yeah, and it also means that we still would need to do the side quest to level up so to handle it easier. Yeah. Uh, well, story. I'm guessing story difficulty wouldn't get too difficult, so I'm putting it as a maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Overcooked 2. May maybe some time for multiplayer streams for just shenanigans. <laughs> While you play it with others, I just sit back and laugh. Yeah. Overlord 2. If I manage to wrangle it into working. Okay, that's said to be about 16 hours. A main quest game? Or does... Wait. Would you count, count 16 hours as a main quest? Wait, 16 hours, that's 8 episodes. Mm. Yeah, with, right, with how then, things then, have been cool. going, I think we need to redefine how this we do with the side quest. Mo we've said side quests mostly for shorter games, but we've been jumping into some without actually knowing how long they would be or how late they could be. So I'm thinking we change it more to a, a definition of just other games, not just shorter games. Wait, wait, I have, I have an idea. Weekend games. That could work as well, yeah. I'm uh, still happy to call them side quests, but not all side quests in games are short. Yeah, definitely. They're just, <laughs> not, they're just not the main quest. So, yeah, we would still call them side quests, and they do it on weekends, but we'd probably loosen up on the rule shorter games. Yeah, at least the, the definition of it supposedly being shorter games. Uh, oxygen not included. Good game, not really streamable for our style, maybe for chill streams or such. And Pac-Man Championship Edition. There no. also maybe just a, a chill stream here or there, but no main week streaming or no story stream because there's no story to begin with. Yeah, if you want a Pac-Man with story, watch the cartoon series. Yeah, or, or watch someone let's play uh, Pac-Man 2, or whatever it was called again. It, it's a game you don't want to play yourself because it can be so utterly infuriating. Alright, uh, so if they had done other Pac-Man games the way that they tried to introduce a story to I think it was part of one of those worst games ever or something. Uh, they've been a bit active again recently as well. Uh, I believe uh, I believe their channel is called Reraz. Wait, there's a channel channel name that? Let me double check. I, I wasn't referring to any channel. I just, just said the worst game ever in general. I didn't think it was a channel name that. Yeah, it's, it's not their name, but they do a series called Worst Game. Uh, just, no, just worst, but just... The series is called Just Bad Games, and I'll send you a link to a uh, specific I one. I, I, I know them, I know them. They have popped up on my recommendation a few times. I think I've seen some of them, even. Okay, I'll still send you some later. About that, uh, let's see, what was I going to, want to call it again? Oh, well, I'll find it, some, I'll find it on my own time. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's go look for someone to raid, so to Twitch, and then I change the screen share for Drakir, there, okay, and let's see, we have Redacted Cat, who is streaming Turok Dinosaur Hunter, Sour Walrus, who is streaming Blasphemous 2, Isaiah here is playing Bomb Funk Cyberfunk, no, no, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, but <laughs> okay, got things mixed up. Uh, intro VT, Graham the Wolf, uh, they are both playing Baldur's Gate 3, not together. Then we have Puffle, who is just chatting. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're unboxing the Pokemon cards, okay. And Kirinatsu Yoko is streaming Left 4 Dead 2, with two friends and an AI, it seems. Okay. 
to um, hmm? you help her to smile whenever I see her in an ice bath. <laughs> Looks so comical. And then last but not least, we have Roko, who is streaming The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, I really want to do The Witcher series at one point as well, but all of those games are just going to be long, so I definitely feel like we're going to need to put different games in between just to have a change of pace. Yeah, we basically need, we'll put, put it into a season style, and be careful of to not enter areas that would require censoring. Since yeah, I... I have a few friends who have been doing YouTube, and when I told them the US version was a censored version, they got a little bit annoyed for... Normally, the Europe pride ourselves to get the uncensored versions, except for those who do YouTube and stream, that means they need to censor it manually. Yeah. I... So Some games have so... censorship options, but some just plain don't. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. I would say this. If you're going to make it add an uncensored version to Europe and such, add a filter or something you can turn it on and off. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. For now, though, who shall we raid? Oh, uh, good question. Okay, going to take a peek at them myself some other time. Just a name that pops up, <laughs> pops out to me. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh, it looks like they're doing custom maps uh, with Kiri. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, Redacted Cat? Or... And hmm. they're in the pre-stream. Well, actually, I think they're just active. So going by the fact that their avatar is moving. <laughs> That turned into a loof. Okay. So, Redacted or Kiri? And I think Redacted is active now, or is supposed to at least start soon. So, them then? Yeah, Redacted or Kiri. Okay. Uh, let's go say hi to Redacted. We haven't seen them in a bit. So, copy the name, head to our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, uh, thank you, Jess. Thank you, Cookie uh, Arclade. Uh, not sure how to sp uh, say that. Thank you both for watching, and thank you as always, Drakir. You welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. <laughs> okay. If nothing gets in the way, like. I know I keep repeating this over and over again, even though it's been only like once that something has gotten in the way, but I just want to be make sure. If nothing gets in the way, then in about three hours we will stream again. This and where we will stream more of Owlboy. What the heck do you mean? You had plenty of times so that things got in the way. Especially yeah. when you had your own work. Yeah, but uh, since I've said been adding that in with the ah, Saturdays okay. you know, late streams. Okay, yeah. okay. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. 95% chance that it will happen, yeah, that it will happen, but there's always just a 5% chance to, that something will get go wrong. And, well, we're going to have a barbecue, so <laughs> there's like a 5% chance that the house burns down <laughs> because of something with the snap. Oh, oh, yeah, I do remember. There was at one time you went to the barbecue, you went home with a food coma. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, thank you all again for watching, and yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and just random Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> <laughs>